All right, everybody, welcome back. It is losers semifinals time, and this matchup is going to be a banger. It's Leviticus here with JB Henry, and uh, we are going to see a match that we have never seen in this bracket on stream for sure, maybe even in the bracket. Uh, we have Perula versus Pangol and the two sisters facing off to see who will move on to the losers finals. And both coming off just huge five game, uh, five game set victories. So, uh, you know, and you advance this far. I mean, there's always that. You know, you you have that momentum going. But if you've been going this far, also, you know, it's almost more of an endurance at this point, especially knowing, uh, knowing you knowing your opponent as well as they do here. Uh, this will be a good one. Absolutely. Yep. Um... Yeah, this is going to be great. These these two play each other all the time. Um, if you're in the Fight K lobby, you can see them often playing against each other. Uh, so they're practice partners. They know each other's game. And uh, now they're going to prove who's the better sister. I can't wait. Uh, good luck to both of these competitors. I'm going to give them the, uh, the sign to begin. And we are going to get underway. Perula on your left, Pangolin on your right. They are going to start the little level countdown here in just a moment. Maybe letting the nerves settle a little bit, but here we go. All right, a lot of doubles on this board, uh, and both immediately going for that one pill triple. And uh, now the combo is starting to come down here. It looks like first strike is going to be Pangolin, and Pangolin here already looking for maybe uh, to take Perula out. Uh, Peru or Pangolin playing the better board here. These two P names are going to confuse the heck out of me, but we're going to soldier <laughs> on here. 55 to 47 early. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Pangolin uh, looking a little cleaner, and to be honest, this is something I've noticed a bit in each of their play. I would say that Perula tends to uh, live at the top of the screen more often than Pangolin does. He's is more favoring of uh, just clearing out the center. That's not to say she doesn't try for combos. She tends to do both, but she likes to play a little safer, whereas Perula will take bigger risks in the opening uh, to try to, uh, to get an advantage here. But uh, she is absolutely able to, uh, to bring it back. That's definitely part of her style. And uh, it looks like they've already sort of been brought back to an even board health here, maybe slightly still in favor of Pangolin, but not necessarily a huge lead at all. Yeah, Pangolin is very much of a, I will clear the board down, and if combos happen, that's nice. Uh, I know, because that's kind of my play style, uh, but uh, Perula here is deliberately just kind of setting up combos here, although she's running out of real estate in the center of her board. If uh, Pangolin can fire off a couple of big combos here, it can really disrupt things. That red's not going to be too terribly disruptive uh, in column four, uh, and it will set up a, a nice clear here, going to get a double here. Uh, Perula looking for a blue and is going to find it with that drop cross uh, down uh, only seven viruses here as uh, Pangolin is a little bit tied up in that center but going to get that clear uh, down to 35 here but that center of the board starting to look a little precarious. Mm -hmm. Perula setting up a T, getting a cross into a triple here. Uh, like I said, wow. uh, she's very good at uh, recovering from that early game uh, situation that she puts herself in. It's definitely uh, something she's practiced many times and certainly many times against this particular oh, wow. opponent. She's going to find another T and suddenly Pangolin is in trouble at the top of her board after all of this garbage she sent out. she's been sent over. Yeah, Perula was just making combos in really tight spaces. We saw that just big cluster of blue disappear off the board. And uh, now Pangolin in big trouble. Pangolin is going to need some sort of blue help here. Uh, or Perula oh. Can, oh, no, it's not going to happen. Wasn't able to get it at that speed. That, so game one to Perula. That pill she put down, unfortunately, it, 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 the speed was too much. It knew it was a big risk because she, if she makes any missed input, she tops out on the spot. And unfortunately, it's exactly what happened. Moving into the second game, though, uh, Perula already has some setups going on with this horizontal opportunity. She's hoping for a double red. Unfortunately, fills it in. But if she can clear these yellows away, uh, she can finally get it. Um, she's going to take another combo first. Very efficient play from her. So a triple into a triple, I believe. And that's going to yeah, give some uh, some co some garbage here in column five for Pangolin. And honestly, I expect the board health to look the other way for each of these players. It looks like Perula is already starting to break things down early, maybe taking a page out of her sister's book here. Uh, whereas Perula Pangolin, with a quad. Yeah. And, uh, Pangolin is now at the top of her board. Going to need to clear things down if she wants to stay alive. 
and now really starting to get that column three and six to hit as well. Uh, a, a triple here as well for Perula, and that might be it early. Yeah, there's really nowhere to yeah. go, and wow, an early kill there, and it is two to nothing. Perula really turning on the Jets in that second game. But I, I believe that these players are, are quite even in terms of their skill, so uh, if if the, the night follows the pattern it has been so far, uh, I don't think that this is necessarily going to be over that quickly. We, I, Penguin is absolutely capable uh, of uh, bringing this back. Yeah, Perula was staring down a 2-0 earlier and now is on the other side of that 2-0. And uh, now is going to get a drop cross. Perula needs blue. Uh, just with the garbage and what she's been setting up with, she's not really been able to hit that center of the board. That could be critical. And it looks like uh, Pangolin here is going to start taking those blues off the board and uh, dropping things down. And uh, oh, a misflip there from Perula. No, that could be huge. She might be trying to do a horizontal, but she fills it in no. incorrectly and tops out. And that's game three for Pangolin. She's already mounting the comeback. These two, these two playing this round like they got somewhere to be here. Two very, very quick matches. And uh, here comes uh, Perula with a combo here. Going to drop some garbage down columns one and three. And now getting another quick double. And that's going to block the blue clear. Uh, that vertical blue clear, which could be critical here, is now uh, Pangolin <laughs> running out of room. Ooh, a very clutch clear and another clutch clear just to keep the board open. A triple from Perula and another triple. Wow. Oh, no, this could be game and match. What can Pangolin do the here? That will be it. it. Oh, wow. What a quick one. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that would go out a little longer, but that they packed a lot of excitement into those four crowns. Uh, GG's to Perula taking out Pangolin. She is going to move on into the, our loser's finals, and uh, Pangolin is just going to have to hope to get the run back uh, in Hartford this coming weekend when they, yeah. will, be, well, they will both be in attendance. But uh, who is uh, Perula going to face in our loser's finals? Well, we have yet to determine that because our next match, the winner's finals will be between Snipe and Hibimato, two of the probably most prolific names in verses. So stay tuned oh, yeah. for that, and we will be back in just a moment.